Okay, I'm here at the 2014 Woodstock Fruit Festival with Mr. Michael Arnstein. My third time here, fourth festival. Um, I'd like to, what's the story of this festival? How did this all happen? Three years into eating this way, I was real happy with the, the athletic results and, and um, the kind of spiritual benefits I got from eating this way, but I just wasn't satisfied with the social interactions. A lot of people that, you know, found it a little bit strange to eat this way, even though I showed them that it was more than healthy. Uh, sure. So we, I think I took like about $70,000 the first year, rented a really nice facility and made some uh, websites and we just got it going and uh, we had 200 people show up the first year. Yeah. And uh, every year it just keeps growing and growing. So here we are into the fourth festival. It's yeah. a big success and um, yeah. It's good stuff. And everyone can see how much work you put in, how much stress it puts on you, I guess. What is it that motivates you to keep doing it? Why, why do you keep putting it on? I'm in the jewelry business. That's my main uh, source of income. And I've been doing that for almost 20 years. And although I really like selling gemstones because I, I find them beautiful and I appreciate them for how rare they are, it doesn't really give me a lot of satisfaction just making money trying, <laughs> trying to make you know engagement rings. I, I, I want to do something that has lasting impact yeah. on, a, on a larger uh, group of people. So I also feel responsible that I, I, I to, to just let people know about how how beneficial this diet and way of life is. So um, I don't make any money uh, whatsoever on this festival. E even if the festival had made a lot of money I wouldn't want to take any of it. Yeah. I want to put it back into just getting the message out there. Yeah. My life has improved exponentially. I, I can't even kind of express how grateful and thankful I am for being able to experience this diet and lifestyle so I just want I want more people to know about it sure and do you want to speak about the next level now you've, you've you're creating a new event uh, can you tell us about that a little well when I started this festival I really wanted to socialize more with people that was my main goal and um, and and that goal was reached and then and then uh, I was fortunate enough to move to Hawaii I was moved, yeah. moved from New York to the tropics sure. And, um, and I, I, I thought I'd reached every level of, uh, of benefit in this diet and lifestyle sure. when I lived in New York. Sure. But after moving to Hawaii and experiencing uh, being in a tropical environment where it's, it's easy, it feels so easy and just natural and right, it feels good to be there and to eat all organic food that's all local. I feel like I gotta create a festival in Hawaii because I gotta let people know, hey, it gets even better. <laughs> so come on down to Hawaii, yeah. or or you know you know any tropical environment, and experience how how much better it is there. Yeah. So I was eating 95% conventional foods in New York, and I felt great. I was doing well, but I was also concerned about the long-term effects of eating food that was shipped in from all over the world, grown with chemicals or sprays, and um, now I'm feel, I feel like I can live in Hawaii and eat that kind of food for the rest of my life and, and, and have peak vitality. Yeah. So I, I want I, so that's what we're having the Hawaii Woodstock Fruit Festival. It's going to be in April 2015. Yes. It's going to be very similar to a you know camp environment, except there's not going to be a big education component there. It's going to be a lot more vacation and fun. Explore what it's like to live in a tropical environment. Experience the activities and, and the lifestyle of a tropical environment. Experience local food, uh, and give people like another perspective of like the next step up. Yep. Well, awesome, Megan. I, I'm at like I've been here for uh, sorry three years. It just gets better every time. It's two weeks this year, so it's it's even more amazing. We've got figs this year, so <laughs> and. I tell everyone they need to come, you know, and there's so many people into this lifestyle that have never been here or, you know, they maybe get a, they've maybe got their own opinion of the event, but if they've never been, they don't know how life-changing this can be. So I, I just want to say that to everyone. So if people want to find out more about this festival and the Hawaii Festival, where can they go and find out about that? Just go to woodstockfruitfestival.com and you can find out everything about what, what it, the experience is like here. Uh, for, for other attendees, it's, it's an event that allows you to experience um, being 100% raw uh, and, and it's easy. Yeah. It's not hard. So when you go back home, you can say, well, if I do the right things, it's not going to be a struggle. Um, 
Because most of the people here haven't eaten 100% raw. Sure. They come to try and experience it. And, and I, I, you know, people complain about maybe the mattress isn't, you know, firm enough or it's too soft or it's too hard or, you know, there's little issues. But I've never heard anybody complain um, that, they, that eating here raw was hard. Yeah. It's just the opposite. It's too much food. It's 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 too easy. It's too good. Awesome. So uh, yeah, we just gets better and better every year. Awesome, great. Thanks a lot, mate, for giving me some time. It's yeah, Ronnie, I appreciate uh, what you're doing in the UK. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a big person. fan of what you what the, what you're trying to do, man. I uh, yeah, I, I want to come to the UK festival. Yeah, well, it's like Tim was talking about compassionate co competition in one of his talks. I thought it'd be great if these festivals were growing and growing and we were saying, you know, oh we got 500 people this year and you got 1,000 people and we were just exchanging ideas on how to grow and build and... It's going to happen. Yeah. It's happening. Right now it's just, you know, we got to be patient. Yeah. Thanks a lot, mate. Well, what about any people that want to maybe invest or help the festival, can they get in touch with you or go to the website? Or... Oh, you know, we're non-profit. We don't want uh, sponsors. We want yeah. to be community supported. Sure. We're completely, uh, you know, non-corporate and... Um, if people want to support the festival, just you gotta just pay just and come. come. Yeah, that's it. Basically, and we're gonna spend all the money on figs and, <laughs> and durian and coconuts and and fun things. Thanks, thanks a lot, mate. Uh, so yeah, um, like, share, subscribe this video, do all that stuff. Come to the festival. You need to experience this once in your life. It's awesome. Or more than once in your life. Thank you. Bye.